Have you just bought a real property but you have no idea on what to do next? Well, the only two persons who are most capable in answering that question is your lawyer and your real estate broker or agent. However, there may have other people who may be able to help you on that matter. If you think that your personal knowledge about the process is necessary so that you will not be caught into the blind side, you are in the right place. I am going to show you the process. But, before we start the journey, please don't forget to subscribe on my channel and hit the notification bell, so that you will be notified on my upcoming videos, and please, do not hesitate to like and share this video. Now, let us go back to the topic. The process of buying a real property does not end when you bring out the cash or check and acquire a deed of sale. The journey does not end there. You need to transfer the title of ownership of that property under your name. The real journey starts during the process of transferring the title of ownership of the property you bought. It is one of the most crucial steps in real estate. The issuance of a new title under your name is the ultimate proof of ownership. After all, you cannot call it yours if it's not registered under your name. And please don't take it for granted. If you fail to do so, you might face a technical, legal, and financial burden in the future. Important note Once the deed of sale has been signed and notarized, the period within which to pay the taxes thereof is already in effect. If you are not able to pay its taxes within that given period, you will be liable for penalties and surcharges, a true pain in the wallet. For some cases, if payment has been delayed for several of years, the total penalty amount can even be greater than the value of the property at the time of purchase. Acquiring title of a land under your name is surely a long process. It could take several months to complete. In some cases, it can take longer than expected, especially if there are problems with the property's existing documents or records. You may have to repeatedly go back and forth to several government agencies to acquire some supporting documents. Patience is extremely required. Here is a six-step guide to help you process the transfer of your land title, under your name, here in the Philippines. First, file and secure the required documents at the Office of the Bureau of Internal Revenue Regional District. Before making your way to the office, make sure you have secured the complete list of all necessary documents. Bring hard copies of the required documents below. One original copy and two photocopies of the notarized deed of absolute sale. One owner's duplicate copy and two photocopies of the transfer certificate of title, TCT, or the condominium certificate of title, CCT, in case of sale of condominium units. One certified true copy and two photocopies of the latest tax declaration for land and improvement of the real property. Note, if the property sold is a vacant lot or no improvements have been made thereon, a sworn declaration of no improvement by at least one of the transferees or certificate of no improvement issued by the city or municipal assessor is required. Tax identification numbers of the seller and buyer. Take note that there are additional requirements for certain cases. It's best to double check everything, to minimize numerous back and forths. If the person signing on the document is not the owner as it appears on the TCT or CCT, you will need a special power of attorney, SPA. If the SPA is executed abroad, it must be certified by the Philippine Consulate. It is commonly identified with a red ribbon attached to the document. If the zonal value of the property cannot readily be determined from the documents submitted, a location plan or vicinity map shall be required. For documents required in case of mortgage, judicial or extrajudicial settlement of estate, 
judicial and extrajudicial foreclosure of mortgage, consolidation of ownership, execution sale, and condominium project, refer to the required documents filed under the registration of real property with the Register of Deeds. Other requirements as may be required by law, rulings, regulations, or other issuances. Second, secure assessment of transfer taxes at the BI or an authorized agent bank, AAB, or municipal or city treasurer's office. After filing the required documents, a BI or representative will calculate your capital gains tax, CGT, and documentary stamp tax, DST. Afterwards, they will ask you to sign three copies each of the following. BI or Form 1706, CGT, BI or Form 2000, DST, these will then be filed at the AAB for areas where there are no AABs, they will be filed with the authorized city or municipal treasurer. Third, file documents at the BI or for the issuance of certificate authorizing registration, CAR, or BI or clearance. You will receive a claim slip with the claim date of the car, which will be released along with the following documents. Original copy of the deed of absolute sale, stamped as received by the BIR. Owner's duplicate copy of the TCT or the CCT. Original copies of the BIR Form 1706, CGT, and Form 2000, DST, stamped as received by the BIR copies of the tax declaration for land and improvement. According to BIR Memorandum Order No. 1503, BIR RDOs should release cars for all one-time transaction, on it, within five days of submitting all required documents. Fourth, pay the transfer taxes and secure the tax clearance at the local treasurer's office. Aside from paying the transfer tax, you also need to secure the following documents for the issuance of the tax clearance. One original copy and one photocopy of the deed of absolute sale. One photocopy of the tax declaration. Official receipt of payment of real property tax and special education fund tax for the current year. Fifth, file documents at the Registry of Deeds for the issuance of new land title. The new owner's duplicate copy of the TCT and CCT in your name will be released once you have presented all of the following documents. One original copy and three photocopies of the deed of absolute sale, stamped as received by the BIR. Seller's owner's duplicate copy of the TCT or CCT. One original copy of the car. One original copy of the tax clearance. Original copies of official receipts of payments of CGT, DST, tax clearance certificate, and transfer fee. Original copies of the current tax declaration for land and improvement issued by the local assessor's office. If the seller or buyer is a corporation, submit the following requirements. 1. Secretary certificate authorizing the sale of the real property. 2. Certified true copy of the Articles of Incorporation and bylaws of the Seller or Buyer Corporation. Sixth, File documents at the Municipal or Provincial Assessor's Office for the issuance of new tax declaration. For the release of the new tax declaration, present a photocopy of the following documents. 1. Deed of Absolute Sale. 2. TCT or CCT, 3. Car or e-car, 4. Transfer tax receipt, 5. Latest tax receipt or tax clearance. For some local assessor's offices, example Tagbiller and City or the Municipality of Carmen, Bohol, additional documents are required, 1. Subdivision plan, if lot is subdivided, 2. Full color photos of the house, lot, or condominium unit. Important note, do not forget to accomplish this last step, as this is often missed out. Remember, 
Ownership of a tax declaration should always be done after the land title transfer as the name on the land title should coincide with the name indicated on the tax declaration. So, do you have any question? Feel free to write it in the comment section below. If you want to know any other information involving real estate or any other documentary processes in the Philippines, ask it in the comment section below. Once again, if you find this video useful, please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you will be notified on my next videos. And don't forget, please like and share this video. Thank you very much.